Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry, doing all the work, and Tom's right there. Doing all the filming work. Yeah. So, I said that I was going to show you guys how to do it. I already started without the camera on, but uh, I, you didn't need to see me do that part anyway, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, we're installing a new sink and faucet. What? I was supposed to say what? Just like cleaning up the bottom? Yeah, there. I had to take all the stuff out, as you can see. Uh, I have a box of a lot of stuff I really got to go through. Yeah. See what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep. But um, so you have to turn, first thing you always do is turn off your water supplies. Right? I imagine do that for any sort of plumbing job. Yes. Um, so I turned off the hot and the cold, and then of course there's always water that lays in some of the, the hoses and pipes and stuff like that. So of course, you know, you gotta have paper towels or a rag ready, and uh, I use a little plastic Tupperware there. I have to have light down there because I can't see crap. But as you can see Makes right sense. now, I have the sprayer off. I have all that stuff in the sink over here. But I couldn't have that with any liquid in it because if not, it's going to go right through the drain and right on my face that I'm working down there. So I had to make sure they were all empty now. Um, so after you get all the connections undone, and I have the, if you want to, if you can scoot down, I have the, uh, the filter. That's what the filter thing looks like? Yeah, I have that undone. Like there's no hoses to it right now, okay. so, I, so I don't have to worry about that. So this can come up with the sink, and this is all disconnected, so that can come up with the sink. I don't have to disconnect this from the bottom, you know what I mean? Like take this off to pull this up. Okay. That can come right out with the sink because I'm not using that again anyway. It's easier to take it off. Right, why would you disassemble it when you can just move the entire unit? Right, exactly, and then I can, and then I can take it off easier like up here than down under there. But your sink, the way that this is attached to the underneath is you have these little brackets and this sits in a little tracking up there. And then you have to tighten tighten these to tighten it down. Well, here, as you can see, it's a little tiny screw like that and it's black. So it's really hard to see. Mm -hmm. So I have almost all of them off. I left like three of them on there so that I can uh, show you guys how to do this. So the worst part of this whole thing is going under here to do it. Yeah. Um, especially when you're getting old. So I only have three left and they're on this side right here. So if you can give me the camera, I can show them kind of where it is. Yeah. So uh, let's see. There's one right there, guys. Hopefully it's focusing, right? Yeah, it is. And so I have to put a screwdriver in that slot and unscrew that. And I'll give the camera back to Tom right now. Because I can't do both things at the same time. And of course my screwdriver is right oh here it is. So what I do, I have to get in this kind of a position. And it's very hard to find that little slot in there because it's black along with the whole thing. So as soon as I get it so loose, then I can just I can just loosen it the rest of the way with my hand and then I can slide this down and it comes right out of the, out of the track. Huh. I have two more of them to do and after I get them done then I can break the seal because it's caulked on there and pull this whole thing up. Now I'm probably going to have a little bit of a dilemma I'm sure because I always do but I'm sure that the cutout for this sink is different than the other one, even though they're the same size. I just you expect I expect that. I expect that, you know? Because I don't have too much room to go this way because this was the end of the cabinets are right here. Mm -hmm. So on back there, I'm hoping that I can go a little bit that way if I have to cut more of the counter away. Yeah. But I really don't want to cut any of the counter away, but if I have to, I have to. Right, it's that or have no sink, and I don't right. think that's acceptable. Right. So, like I said, my next step is to get the other two out. Then I'm just going to break this seal here, and uh, and try to get this out without doing any damage to my laminate tops. And then we'll turn the camera back on when I get to that part. All right. Yep. So I have all of them off, and here they are right here. Tom said that he didn't know if it focused all very well, but see how these work is, if you take one of these out of here. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so there's a, a groove in there where it goes up like this and then it comes over like that and it sits like that. Then you have this 
that goes like this and then with that screw right there you gotta you go like this and it'll tighten up against the wood right there and that's how it holds the sink in okay but as you can see though that little tiny slot is very hard to see i mean you can can the camera even see it from there probably not from here no probably I mean, can't until i bring it up like that right i can see it now yeah all right, so I have all them off now. So now um, the sink, and as you can see, the back part is already loose. So I just have to, there we go. And then Tom and I are gonna carry this outside, put it outside, and, uh, and then we can work on, I'm gonna have to clean all this up around there and, uh, and I can dry fit the next one. All right. Ready to do something? I guess. About time. So now we have a big hole. That we do. Where once a sink lied. So anyway, um, there's a little bit of caulking on here. So I'm using a, going to use a straight edge. Got to be real careful because I don't want to scratch the laminate up. So I'm going to go along here and just scrape that up. Scrape that up, yeah. And then I'll clean it off. I'm using this stuff right here. Um, I have to go around this whole thing. Now um, it seems to me I, I took the took the uh, template that came with this a cardboard template put it there and the hole is definitely big enough i'm just a little bit worried about is the overlap big enough and it should be so i don't think i'm gonna have any problems and now i can take a, take down this too and i have to take this contraption down here because i don't need this anymore and the reason why i had that is because i had to have a line come over to this ah so now i'll just have the faucets going straight into there this line down here goes to the dishwasher right here so this this all this all this will come out i won't need that anymore and not having that in there is going to be a big deal yes yeah, it's going to save a lot of space yeah yeah so um after i get done cleaning all, all this off and everything then we'll turn the camera back on when we get to the point of we're just going to put it in um and just to see make sure that we have enough room and everything if we don't i don't know exactly what i'm going to do <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something. Yeah, you'll figure something out. Yeah, I'll figure something. Um, but then we'll turn it back on. Let me clean this all up. Yep, go for it. That's all right, Tom, I got it. Okay. So I cleaned it up as best as I'm going to clean it up right now. And now we got to get the sink and put it in here just to see if everything. And I got to help. Fits, yeah, about time for that. Huh? And make sure everything fits well before we get to the next step. Yep. All right, you want to walk backwards? I'm not me. I've done that. Probably heavier than the other thing. Eh, not by much. Oh, this has a little bit different of a way to attach it. Oh, does it? Yeah, I'm not sure how that is. I'm going to have to... I guess I have to read the directions. But hopefully this fits in the opening. And luckily, neither of us have to walk backwards. If not, I'm, I'm going to have to punch it. What? Well, that's not my fault. Right. I'm not the one who ordered the thing. So here we go. All right, you can let go. Okay. Huh? All right. Well, visually it looks like it fits. Yeah, it sure does. But does it actually? It does. Like for sure? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's perfect. I mean, that's that's what the sink is going to look like. I mean, now guys, it's not ready to be actually. <laughs> attached yet because I'm going to attach the faucet before I put it down because mm -hmm. it'll be easier that way than trying to work like that and also I have to caulk it I have to put a bead of caulk around it when I go to put it down for the, when it's final right this is just to make sure that it's fine it's just right? yeah this was just to make sure that it was going to actually fit in here I am liking it so far really yeah, like it uh, I'll see it works yeah and see in that one uh you try not to step on everything Tom uh, uh, that, that, great, middle of the floor. that great was that that actually goes and sits in here oh okay yeah so the pots and everything aren't going right to the bottom then it up like you did did on the other one um yeah, i did uh i just assumed you did it yeah you assume that i do everything everything bad that is huh anyway so yeah so it fits i'm glad about that i can go to the next step and that is going to be outside of this which i'll probably do it right here 
I can put the faucet on and I can put the drain, the top part of the drain on. So that way I'm not working underneath the sink. I can do that first before I put it in there. I do have to see how this is attached to the countertop because it's a little bit different than uh, these things. Mm -hmm. So I have to get the instructions out and check that out. Oh no, I have to check the instructions. Checking the instructions is a good thing. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> we had a little dilemma. We put it there and I have plenty of room on the sides and over here, as you can see, um, right here you can see it. There's a tab right here. And these things go like this, and then this goes under, clamps it to the underneath side on the, on the, uh, it'll, it would go like this, basically. And clamp it to the sides. However, <laughs> in the front here, I don't have, as you can see, I don't have very much room here. So, we, we had to try to figure out, well, first of all, they come like this. Let me show you. Let me show you one of these. Like this. So we were like, how the heck? Because look. So here, these have to spin. But I don't understand why they, why, why are they, what's the purpose of them? I guess maybe it is to get them up, get them on. That makes sense. Right? So anyway, the, these won't even fit like that going straight down. Nope. So I have to turn these kind of like, like sideways and hope to God that they don't fall off when I go to put it on. Because if they do, I'm going to have a problem. dilemma. So I'm, I'm going to do all three of these like this. The rest of them I can, I can reach from underneath the sink. I can get them all because I have plenty of room on the sides and on the back. It's just this part I don't. So for right now, I'm just going to hang them like this. And I'm going to attach the drain and attach the faucet to this. And uh, as you can see, the, this is just a plug. That, this, that's how they, they sit. I'm gonna put a little bit of caulking underneath that just to hold it there so it's, don't have any, get any water underneath it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so my next step now is going to be attach the faucet. I'm also on the inside of here, if you can see, um, I'm gonna put um, tape around these because Teflon tape because that way I won't have to do it down inside. I can do it right from the top here. That would be yeah. a good idea. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, and basically other than that, I think that's all I gotta do. But we'll do one step at a time. First thing I'm gonna do is put the faucet in. All right. I have the faucet on now. Now, I didn't show you because this is pretty easy. I mean, and not to mention that it does come with instructions and they have nice good pictures with them and that's the most important thing. So Diagrams are helpful. Yes, yeah, so it's pretty easy. So as for right now, all I had to do is, there was two washers in there. Okay. So you put them, they're, they're under there, um, and you had to put them on first. Then you thread all this stuff down on here. Then you have, under here, you had a... Uh, oh, there was a washer there. Was there a washer there? No. The washers are both on the top side. There was two washers for the top side. On the bottom is just a metal plate, and then this other one right here, this this gold color one, that screws around it. Then when it gets tight up at the top, then you just tighten these two. And that's it for that. And it's so much easier to do it here than trying to do it underneath the sink. If I was just replacing a faucet without the sink, I would have to do it under there, but right. anyway, so that's done now. So my next step now is going to be, I still have to put the, the tape on there, the Teflon tape, but I, my next step is going to be um, to put the drain in the sink and have that all hooked up so that way I don't have to work down there to do that either. And then, uh, like I said, then the fun part comes of dropping it in, put some, I'll put a bead of caulk around it, drop it in and, uh, and then tighten all those little bracket things, which will take forever to do. That'll be fun. But this is interesting, because this, this faucet has, as you can see, it has the hot and cold, which is the red is hot, blue is cold. Then it has this, and this is going to hook up to a box. And that's for the sensor. Uh. And, and then this will hook up to the sensor also. Um, no, this will hook up to the spray. 
This is for the spray, so I'm not exactly sure. What, I think that goes into there too, though. Um, yeah, so this is the spray, because, yeah, that's the spray for sure. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that hooks into, but I had to figure that out. Mm -hmm. And then this is the sensor. I know that because there's an electrical connection right there yep. for this box here. Um, I'm not exactly sure where the spray thing hooks into. Well, it's it got to be somewhere in there. I think it's into this box. I do, but I'm not positive. Uh, I'll find out when I'm hooking all this stuff up. That's for sure. Yep. And then... Uh, I'll be done shortly. Yep. Like I said, then the next step for me is to put the drain on right now. So yeah, all that other hooking up stuff that all happens after the sink is in, and then and then like I said, in the drain pipes and everything like that. So I'm getting there. That you are. It takes time, but I'm getting there. So far, no problems. So far. So far. <laughs> what what was your map? You it looked like the thing was about to spin uh, right off the counter. It's not going to spin. It just spun when you hit it. You going to start again? Yeah. <laughs> that was a sneak attack right there. All right. Let me get back to work. Go for it. My next step now is I have my silicone caulk. I do not like anything but silicone caulk for this because it dries faster. And it, uh, it usually you can use it like in about 30 30 minutes or so. So I have to puncture the seal that's inside there naturally. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a bead of caulk all the way around this thing. And then we're going to place the sink inside there very carefully, right, Tom? Very carefully. Okay, so let me get this going. Scooby dooby doo. Come on, there we go. I'm putting a decent sized caulk around here, seal, bead. It might make a mess, it might not, I don't know. If it does, we'll clean her up. Slow and steady. I don't want to go too wide of this because it didn't seem like it has a whole lot of overlap. Did it, Tom? Not particularly. Not much more than the other one, at least. And if I'm not mistaken, how we're doing this is we are lifting the sink up, setting it, like, centered enough just to get the stuff in. Then once it is down low enough, we push it as far back as possible, lower it onto the caulk, and then push it forward. Correct? Yes, we're going back first to get all those things, those brackets in there, right? Yeah, because the brackets are all... That's you already the, turned them? What's that? Yeah, I haven't turned... We have to be real careful because if they fall out, then we're we're kind of screwed. Yeah. So you can't really see from the camera how how uh, this looks. I mean, you can see it on the one side, although the sink is partially blocking it. So yeah, I'm getting really tired right now. My hand is anyway. <laughs> And it might make a little bit of mess. You don't really want to get this on you, Tom, because it's not real easy to clean up, right? Right. Let's see if we missed any spots. Everything looks good. All right. So now I got to take the pressure off because if you don't take the pressure off of this, it'll just keep seeping out. And that's no good. So I'm going to put this over on the side. Put the paper towel under the nozzle. All right, Thomas. All right. You want to get on this side? Sure. All right. Here we go, guys. Hopefully, I won't yell at Tom too much. Yeah, we can pick it up like this. Now, let me grab these hoses and put them over here like that. Okay, now watch the top. Oh, yeah. The faucet, right? Faucet. So kind of tilt the back down. Yep. Right? And we're going to go back there. Grab your, grab it more back towards, towards the back or towards the front of it. Okay. Keep your, yeah, your right hand. Bring that back. Okay, now, back. now let's, don't go too far back. Don't tilt it too far. Okay. Okay, now, come on, let's go straight down now. All right. There we go. Now push it back as far as it'll go. All right. Oh, you knocked off the... You got to put these in, Tom. All 
I already got caulk on my hand because we knocked all of these off. The one thing I didn't want to do, we just did. Yep. It's very tricky. Okay. Got it? Yep. All right, let go of your fingers. You let go of it too. All right, now I'm just going to put it like that. All right, now I got to get this caulk off of here. have it where where we want it guys the problem is is that one of the, the things fell down so yeah. you'll have a hell of a time excuse my language getting that back to where it was going to be because we had to be we had to be smooth in doing that and we were not smooth this is a lot of caulk I didn't expect this much to come out of it And it's silicone, so it's it's not easy to clean up, guys. Damn. I wish I didn't have put so much down. <laughs> Note to self, don't put so much silicone caulk down, guys. something you have to use like mineral spirits to get this off mm. all right I have to get this thing pretty much I want to, as much as this stuff out as I can possibly get and then I'm going to uh, go underneath and start a Getting those uh, clamps on? Yeah. Because we don't want it to move too much. Right. All right. And like I said, I'll be I'll clean. Have to clean this up with some uh, some mineral spirits, and then uh, I'm going to do that real fast, and then we will uh, go to the next step of getting them clamps on. One headache later. Oh my gosh. So guys. I have these two on and these two on. The front is such a pain in the neck because where are the, where's the extra ones? Do I have them all in there? Oh, here's one right here. So what happens, the ones that we had on here, when I go to screw it, so when I put my screwdriver on this, it pushes it right out and then they fall out. So it's like you gotta hold this and start turning this. Well, the problem is you can't reach your hand between the sink and the front of this. Yep. It's a very poor design. So it's like, if this piece of metal was like this long, it'd be fine, but they're not. So what I did is I had to rig up. So I, I'm gonna tape this to my screwdriver like that. And I'm gonna have to put some more tape on this to make sure it's sticky. So I can put this up and kind of hold it there while I'm screwing with my other hand with this. It's... Now at least deal with the front. Yeah. Then the back, the back there's no ledge for this to go on. The ledge, well there is, but the ledge is too big. It's like this. So even at this, at the furthest point, it's not, I don't have enough there. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. And what I think what I'm going to do is, there's two pieces of wood there, one on top of the other. I'm going to have to drill uh, a big enough hole that I can get that thing inside there. It's one thing after the other, guys. You know what? And I get very frustrated. Um, to say the least. Yeah. You guys haven't heard anything, but uh, Tom did. Didn't you, Tom? It's amusing, in a way. What? It's not amusing at all. It's very, very frustrating to me. So anyway, so this is how I'm rigging it up right now, just to get it up there so I can start screwing this in. <sighs> My neck is killing me, too. Good luck. Yeah, and this flashlight stinks. <laughs> Did I mention that? 
Only three or four times at least. I mean, you think that's enough light, but it's not. And hmm. everything blocks it, you know, so. Um, yeah, so after I get these three, then I gotta work on the back ones. It's gonna take quite some time. I might be another couple hours doing this, but Possibly. we can't really show me doing this. But it's like with anything, you figure, you know, trial and error, figure Problem it solved. out how to do it, and uh, and have a couple beers, because that'll relax you. And it's like, I'm due for another one, so I can, it won't bother me as much. Maybe. So I hooked up the hot and the cold so far. Now the next step is to hook this thing up, because this is for the, um, the automatic, um, the sensor. Yeah. And I gotta figure out where I'm gonna hook this because this hose goes into it and this hose goes into it and this this goes into it so it can't be too far away. Yeah, I think I saw something in the instructions about like the ideal distance from the box and something else is like 10 inches. From what box? That, that control box. And and what? Some other pipe. I'd have to look at the instructions again to figure out what it was. Here they are. Let me see it. Ow. Do, 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 do. Okay. Mountain distance between spray hose and control box is 9.8 inches. All right. Well. We'll figure out what uh, is going on. Oh, and your your thing's done that you're cooking. So um, let me figure out exactly where I'm going to mount it, and I'll mount that thing, and then we'll show you what's up. So I have it. I'm trying to get situated right. I wore the wrong kind of pants for this, guys, because these are like these are my. I do a lot of work with these, but they're very slippy. And on tile, I just keep sliding this way, so it's very hard to keep traction here. So anyway, I I put the box there, and you just, matter of fact, these are easy connections because you just, you just push this one in there and you push the bottom one in there and they're set. And then I put a little zip tie up here that they, they give you to, to keep the uh, electronics up, up there. And right down here, let's see if I can get it out here. I can, I can't see. Uh, I can't tell if it goes this way or that way. I guess this way. Uh, all right, well, I have to use two hands for this. Here we go. I have to put four, four batteries in here. That's how the sensor works. Uh -huh. So hopefully they last a long time because I don't feel like I have to come down on the sink all the time. But anyway, these are the connections. The next thing I have to do is right here where this thing is, this piece of tape, I have to put this Oh yeah, it's a counterweight. Yeah, I have to put this, I'll show you in a second. It's this thing, which is actually pretty heavy. So I have to take this apart and then put it on here so that it'll weigh this, weigh this down. So this, this way you pull nozzle. it up. And the only thing I'm gonna worry about is, is, is I'm gonna have to put this over like that, yeah. So it doesn't get caught on anything. Yeah, so I have to put this on. So you pull it down so that way it'll go right back up. That's what yep. this, this is for. Uh, and all I have to do with this, it looks like, is... Uh, it's like unscrew the sides of it, right? Yeah, and then it, it, it closes back up and then and then, uh, and I can put that on. That'll be that. And the next step is the drain. Nice. So, we have everything done now. Everything's connected. Um, I had to move this over a little bit, the box, because I wanted this to be in the center. So as you can see, see how it comes down up the top? Yep. And then it'll, that pulls it right back down, like that. Neat. Yeah. So my next step now is to, well I have to put the nozzle on up there, but my next step will be after that is going to put the drain in. So now I have my drain in there, and I have to make sure that I'm putting this ring on here and I'm not cross threading it. It's very hard to work upside down. It's a shame you can't flip like the entire sink, do all this stuff, and then just flip it back. Well, you know? remember I wanted to do this. I can't tell if it's Ugh. right beforehand, but we couldn't because we couldn't keep it off of the uh, counter. 
Yeah, and as you can see, if you could look at the top of it, I got it now, but if you look at the top of it, I put plumber's buddy. You can see it, it's kind of like uh, beige color. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, so I have that there and it should start oozing out the sides, I hope. I gotta get this nice and tight, but not tight enough that I'm gonna break the... Uh, uh, yep, it looks like it's oozing. It's oozy. A little bit. Okay. All the blood's in my head right now, guys. So now I can come up here and I can just kind of, if I can get any of this out, I don't know if I can or not. But it's just like clay. Here it is right here. And you just mold it and you just keep, you keep working it until it's nice and uh, smooth. And I can get a, I'm going to get like a, um, a plastic uh, utensil and just kind of like go around it and scrape it out. Scrape it out. Yeah. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit tighter to get it, get a little bit flatter in there. But that's what, that's how you want it. And then I get to hook up all, excuse me, all the pipes to it. Nice. So the you're drain, getting there. The drain pipes. Yes, we're getting there, Tom. Wake up. Oh. Sorry, it's taking me. Look, it's dark outside. Yeah. So, I'm done now, guys. There's no leaks. Um, We've checked. Yeah. As you can tell from the water in the sink. Yeah, so I have the everything hooked up, the drain and everything, and here you go. Fancy. And I'm not gonna put the stuff back in there because I do have to run the dishwasher still. To see, oh, also, let me just show you. And you have this as your desired thing. Now you can bypass that by um, turning the one valve down there and you could just, you would just use this like a regular faucet, which we might wind up, wind up doing it. Wind up, wind up, yeah. <laughs> we may wind up doing it anyway. I don't know. But now I can put the, uh, and I, I noticed that this thing is just a plug, like, so it, you can't even put that there or else it will, because even if I put it like loose like that, the water, see how it doesn't go all the way down? Yeah. Yeah, so this obviously has to go out to the side. And now I can put the, the grill that's inside there and that, you know, the, the little grate that goes in there and everything. Yeah. Um, and put that there and so there we go guys uh, New sink and faucet installed Nice, yeah, I'm happy with it. I so think I, you did a good job. Yeah, so and it's a nice. I mean it's big sink big sink um, I'm not gonna put all the stuff back. I'm gonna take all my tools out of here, but I'm not gonna put the stuff back until I have to make sure that it, like the dishwasher the drain dishwasher, works. Because I haven't ran that yet, and I want to make sure that that hose, and, you know, that's that hookup isn't going to leak either. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep it like that for a little bit until I feel secure that I can put everything back. And plus, like I said, I got to go through that box and throw away stuff I don't use, stuff that I need. Keep some of, some of that spray paint can go down the basement. So yep, I am done. And, Good job. Uh, I think I think it turned out very well. I like it. I like it better than the other sink because I didn't like the. Uh, I'll get, it's going to take a little while to get used to that big square in there, right? Yeah. But I, we didn't like that hump in the middle, and I know a lot of times, like you know, if I move this from one side to the other, it would be like this is a close. There you go. If it would go right to the middle, it hit that and splash all over the place. Mm -hmm. So now we don't have to worry about that. So. Uh, I think we're all going to be happy with this. And now I can clean up, which is always a lot of fun. Right. I mean, Tom can clean up. I don't think so. This is my world. Till next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. I'll be here. I mean, I don't want to be the one who's like, Tom, oh, where'd you put this tool? Where'd you put that tool? Because I know what happened. And you know it too. You doing this again? <laughs>